the industry verticals, they will want solutions that will help automate business processes. And, and this is a much bigger challenge for the operators uh, than the technology challenge in itself. I think when you look at industrial applications for 5G, you, you have to look at it through two different lenses. One is performance improvement. How do they improve their margins on the back end? I think the other aspect that you have to look at is how does industry generate new revenue as a result of new services, features that they can add and monetize. We see 5G really as a key enabling technology for our vision of the factory of the future. So currently factories are still rather static. That means you set up a production line, you optimize it for one particular product, and then you produce the same thing again and again and again. In the future, we want to come to a stage where it's much more flexible, much more versatile. And in our vision of the factory of the future, actually only the floor, the ceiling, and the walls are fixed and static, and everything else is mobile, flexible, and can be easily reconfigured. The applications driving 5G within an industry goes beyond the actual connectivity, say, of robots to a factory floor. It actually goes into how are workers in those plants? How are they getting more information available as they're making decisions on the factory floor? The vision for 5G in manufacturing with the two key capabilities of very high reliability and ultra low latency allows us to control robotic systems in real time. Think about fulfillment centers where you're picking products or packages and you're putting them together into a box. If you can unencumber robots from the wires, and you can automate them with 5G, those robots can move across the factory floor in real time. One of the very nice use cases is remote control, the construction vehicle. They have already developed the remote control system for the construction vehicle, but uh, in order to do the remote control, the high quality video needs to be transferred, and the low latency is important. Edge cloud is a very important concept for factories because it means what's actually happening within the premises of the factory itself. We look at the sensitivity of data. We look at the instantaneousness of where things should be processed. If we want sub-millisecond latencies to be making decisions, we do not want that happening in a cloud that's far away. Yeah, network slicing is, of course, another key technology. So because we have these different use cases with very different requirements, it means we can make use and exploit network slicing for ensuring end-to-end -end quality of service, but you want to have them isolated from your own traffic and from your own uh, network. It's not only about portfolio scope, Nokia's end-to-end, -end, so they can bring not only the RAN, but also the core. They can bring mobile edge compute. Um, they work with partners in the ecosystem. Um, these are all necessary for selling into these types of uh, environments. So